the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 23. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. You were speaking yesterday of the first contact made by the Confederation which occurred during our third major cycle. You stated that you appeared in the skies over Egypt at the same time, approximately. Aid was first given to Atlantis. Can you tell me why you went to Egypt and your, shall we say, orientation of attitude and thinking when you first went to Egypt? I am raw. At the time of which you speak there were those who chose to worship the hawk-headed sun god which you know as vibrational sound complex, Horus. This vibrational sound complex has taken other vibrational sound complexes, the object of worship being the sun disk represented in some distortion. We were drawn to spend some time, as you would call it, scanning the peoples for a serious interest amounting to a seeking with which we might help without infringement. We found that at that time the social complex was quite self-contradictory in its so-called religious beliefs and, therefore, there was not an appropriate calling for our vibration. Thus, at that time, which you know of as approximately 18,000, 18,000 of your years in your past, we departed without taking action. Questioner, you stated yesterday that you appeared in the skies over Egypt at that time. Were the Egyptian entities able to see you in the skies? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, what did they see, and how did this affect their attitudes? I am raw. They saw what you would speak of as crystal-powered bell-shaped craft. This did not affect them due to their firm conviction that many wondrous things occurred as a normal part of a world, as you would call it, in which many, many deities had powerful control over supernatural events. Questioner, did you have a reason for being visible to them rather than invisible? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, can you tell me your reason for being visible to them? I am raw. We allowed visibility because it did not make any difference. Questioner, I see. Then at this time you did not contact them. Can you tell me the same answer the same questions I just asked with respect to your next attempt to contact the Egyptians? I am raw. The next attempt was prolonged. It occurred over a period of time. The nexus, or center, of our efforts was a decision upon our parts that there was a sufficient calling to attempt to walk among your peoples as brothers. We laid this plan before the Council of Saturn, offering ourselves as service-oriented wanderers of the type which land directly upon the inner planes without incarnative processes. Thus we emerged, or materialized, in physical chemical complexes representing as closely as possible our natures, this effort being to appear as brothers and spend a limited amount of time as teachers of the law of one, for there was an ever stronger interest in the sun body, and this vibrates in concordance with our particular distortions. We discovered that for each word we could utter, there were thirty impressions we gave by our very being, which confused those entities we had come to serve. After a short period we removed ourselves from these entities and spent much time attempting to understand how best to serve those to whom we had offered ourselves in love light. The ones who were in contact with that geographical entity, which you know of as Atlantis, had conceived of the potentials for healing by use of the pyramid shape entities. In considering this and making adjustments for the differences in the distortion complexes of the two geographical cultures, as you would call them, we went before the council again, offering this plan to the council as an aid to the healing and the longevity of those in the area you know of as Egypt. In this way we hope to facilitate the learning process as well as offering philosophy articulating the law of one. Again the council approved. Approximately 11,000, 11,000 of your years ago we entered, by thought form, your we correct this instrument. We sometimes have difficulty due to low vitality. Approximately 8500. 8,500 years ago, having considered these concepts carefully, we returned, never having left in thought, to the thought form areas of your vibrational planetary complex and considered for some of your years, as you measure time, how to appropriately build these structures. The first, the Great Pyramid, was formed approximately 6,000, 6,000 of your years ago. Then, in sequence. After this performing by thought of the building or architecture of the Great Pyramid using the more, shall we say, local or earthly material rather than thought form material to build other pyramidical structures. This continued for approximately 1500, 1500 of your years. Meanwhile, the information concerning initiation and healing by crystal was being given. The one known as Orkhanet was able to perceive this information without significant distortion and for a time, moved, shall we say, 
heaven and earth in order to invoke the law of one and to order the priesthood of these structures in accordance with the distortions of initiation and true compassionate healing. This was not to be long-lasting at this entity's physical dissolution from your third density physical plane. As we have said before, our teachings became quickly perverted, our structures returning once again to the use of the so-called royal or those with distortions towards power. Questioner, when you spoke of pyramid healing, I am assuming that the primary healing was for the mind. Is this correct? I am raw. This is partially correct. The healing, if it is to be effectuated, must be a funneling without significant distortion of the instreamings through the spiritual complex into the tree of mind. There are parts of this mind which block energies flowing to the body complex. In each case, in each entity, the blockage may well differ. First, However, it is necessary to activate the sense of the spiritual channel or shuttle. Then whether the blockage is from spiritual to mental or from mental to physical, or whether it may simply be a random and purely physical trauma, healing may then be carried out. Questioner, when you started building the pyramid at Giza using thought, were you at the time in contact with incarnate Egyptians and did they observe this building? I am raw. At that time we were not in close contact with incarnate entities upon your plane. We were responding to a general calling of sufficient energy in that particular location to merit action. We sent thoughts to all who were seeking our information. The appearance of the pyramid was a matter of tremendous surprise. However, it was carefully designed to coincide with the incarnation of one known as a great architect. This entity was later made into a deity, in part due to this occurrence. Questioner, what name did they give this deity? I am Raw. This deity had the sound vibration complex, Imhud. Questioner, thank you. Then as an overall success, what can you tell me about the relative success of the pyramid in any way at all? I understand that it was the pyramids for the purpose were basically unsuccessful in that they didn't produce the rise in consciousness that you'd hoped for, but there must have been some success. Can you tell me of that? I am raw. We ask you to remember that we are of the brothers and sisters of sorrow. When one has been rescued from that sorrow to a vision of the one creator, then there is no concept of failure. Our difficulty lay in the honor responsibility of correcting the distortions of the law of one which occurred during our attempts to aid these entities. The distortions are seen as responsibilities rather than failures. The few who were inspired to seek, are only reason for the attempt. Thus, we would perhaps be in the position of paradox in that as one saw an illumination, we were what you call successful, and as others became more sorrowful and confused, we were failures. These are your terms. We persist in seeking to serve. Questioner, you probably can't answer this question but I will ask it now since we are in the area that I think this occurred in. I feel this somewhat of a duty of mine to ask this question because Henry Puevic will be visiting me later this month. Was this entity involved in any of these times of which you have just spoken? I am raw. You are quite correct in your assumption that we can speak in no way concerning the entity Henry. If you will consider this entity's distortions with regard to what you call proof you will understand grasp our predicament. Questioner, I had assumed before I asked the question that that would be the answer. I only asked it for his benefit because he would have wished for me to. Can you tell me what happened to Orkhanaten after his physical death? I am raw. This entity was then put through the series of healing and review of incarnational experience which is appropriate for third density experience. This entity had been somewhat in the distortions of power ameliorated by the great devotion to the law of one. This entity thus resolved to enter a series of incarnations in which it had no distortions towards power. Questioner, thank you. Can you tell me what the average lifespan was at the time of Orkhanet and for the Egyptians? I am raw. The average lifespan of these people was approximately 35 to 50 of your years. There was much, what you would call, disease of a physical complex nature. Questioner, can you tell me of the reasons for the disease? I think I already know, but I think it might be good for the book to state this at this time. I am raw. This is, as we have mentioned before, not particularly informative with regard to the law of one. However, the land you know of as Egypt at the time was highly barbarous in its living conditions, as you would call them. The river which you call Nile was allowed to flood and to recede, thus providing the fertile grounds for the breeding of diseases which may be carried by insects. Also, the preparation of foodstuffs allowed diseases to form. Also, there was difficulty in many cases with sources of water and water which was taken caused disease due to the organisms therein. Questioner, I was really questioning more about the more basic cause of the disease rather than the mechanism of its transmission. I was going back to the root 
animal thought which created the possibility of this disease. Could you shortly tell me if I am correct in assuming that the general reduction of thought over the long time on planet Earth with respect to an understanding of the law of one created a condition in which this what we call disease could develop? Is this correct? I am wrong. This is correct and perceptive. You, as questioner, begin now to penetrate the outer teachings. The root cause in this particular society was not so much a bellicose action although there were, shall we say, tendencies, but rather the formation of a money system and a very active trading and development of those tendencies towards greed and power. Thus, the enslaving of entities by other entities and the misapprehension of the creator within each entity. Questioner, thank you. Now, I understand, if I am correct, that a South American contact was also made. Can you tell me of the, approximately the same question I asked about your contact? with respect to the attitude or about the contact, and its ramifications, and the plan for the contact, and why the people were contacted in South America, I am wrong. This will be the final full question of this session. The entities who walked among those in your South American continent were called by a similar desire upon the part of the entities therein to learn of the manifestations of the sun. They worshipped this source of light and life. Thus, these entities were visited by light beings not unlike ourselves. Instructions were given and they were more accepted and less distorted than ours. The entities themselves began to construct a series of underground and hidden cities including pyramid structures. These pyramids were somewhat at variance from the design that we had promulgated. However, the original ideas were the same with the addition of a desire or intention of creating places of meditation and rest, a feeling of the presence of the one creator. These pyramids then being for all people, not only initiates and those to be healed. They left this density when it was discovered that their plans were solidly in motion and, in fact, had been recorded during the next approximately 3,500. 3,500 years these plans became, though somewhat distorted, in a state of near completion in many aspects. Therefore, as is the case in all breakings of the quarantine, the entity who was helping the South American entities along the South American ways you call and part the Amazon River went before the Council of Saturn to request a second attempt to correct in person the distortions which had occurred in their plans. This having been granted, this entity or social memory complex returned and the entity chosen as messenger came among the peoples once more to correct the errors. Again, all was recorded and the entity rejoined its social memory complex and left your skies. As in our experience the teachings were, for the most part, greatly and grossly perverted to the extent in later times of actual human sacrifice rather than healing of humans. Thus, this social memory complex is also given the honor duty of remaining until those distortions are worked out of the distortion complexes of your peoples. May we ask if there are any questions of a brief nature before we close? Questioner, the only questions I have is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? And since you stated that she seems to be low on energy, is it possible at all to have another session later today? I am wrong. All is well with alignments. However, this instrument would benefit from rest from the trance state for this diurnal period. Questioner, thank you. Is there any other brief question? Questioner, this is a dumb question, but there was a movie called Battle Beyond the Stars. I don't know if you are familiar with it or not. I guess you are. It seemed to have what you're telling us included in the script. Is this correct? Do you know anything about it? I am wrong. This particular creation of your entities had some distortions of the law of one and its scenario upon your physical plane. This is correct. I am wrong. I leave this instrument now. I leave each of you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth. Therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai, and Obsession 23.